a people that loves freedom will in the end be free. An ignorant people is the blind instrument of its own destruction. When tyranny becomes law, rebellion is a right. The art of victory is learned in defeat. God grants victory to perseverance. He who serves a revolution plows a seed. Morals and lights are our first necessities. Nations will march towards the apex of their greatness at the same pace as their education. Nations will soar if their education soars, they will regress if it regresses. Nations will fall and sink in darkness if education is corrupted or completely abandoned flee the country where alone man holds all power, it is a nation of slaves. To do something right it must be done twice. The first time instructs the second. In the unity of our nations rests the glorious future of our peoples. It is harder to maintain the balance of freedom than it is to endure the weight of tyranny. The United States appear to be destined by providence to plague America with misery in the name of liberty. Do not compare your material forces with those of the enemy. Spirit cannot be compared with matter. You are human beings, they are beasts. You are free, they are slaves. The ignorance the people live in leads them to commit mistakes against their own happiness. The first duty of a government is to give education to the people. Colombians. My last wish is for the happiness of the patria. If my death contributes to the end of partisanship and the consolidation of the union, I shall be lowered in peace into my grave. The freedom of the new world is the hope of the universe. It is harder to release a nation from servitude than to enslave a free nation. If nature is against us, we shall fight nature and make it obey. The three greatest fools, Mahadiros, of history have been Jesus Christ, Don Quixote, and I. Out of the most secure things, the most secure is to doubt. Among the popular and representative systems of government I do not approve of the federal system, it is too perfect, and it requires virtues and political talents much superior to our own. Let the entire system of government be strengthened, and let the balance of power be drawn up in such a manner that it will be permanent and incapable of decay because of its own tenuity. Damn it, how will I ever get out of this labyrinth? Do not adopt the best system of government, but the one most likely to succeed. War lives on despotism and is not waged with God's love. Legislators could certainly do with a school of morals. Our hatred knows no bounds, and the war shall be to the death. Republican democracy is over-perfect and demands political virtues and talents far superior to our own. Slavery is the offspring of darkness. A state too expensive in itself, or by virtue of its dependencies, ultimately falls into decay. If nature is opposed, we will fight her and make her obey us. When mankind was in its infancy, steeped in uncertainty, ignorance, and error, was it possible to foresee what system it would adopt for preservation?